Hey, welcome back. And I'm continuing our play with Ocarina of Time, The Legend of Zelda. This is part seven in our series. Last time, we beat Lord Jabu Jabu's dungeon. We got the water spiritual stone, and we brought all three spiritual stones to the Temple of Time, where in which we opened up the Temple of the Door of Time. And, uh, and as a little kid, we pulled out the Master Sword a regular sword in the stone experience. With that, we were transported seven years into the future, where Ganondorf now rules Hyrule. The land is full of monsters, and it's a much different world. And we're a much different person. Link is now all grown up, much bigger. We've lost several of our weapons, like the slingshot, the boomerang, and maybe one other, but we have upgraded our ocarina to the ocarina of time. That's what allowed us to open the door. We now have the master sword, and not just the uh, the Kokira sword that you know, was on loan to us. <clears throat> so losing all of our kid weapons, we now have less adult weapons, but much better sword and shield, given that we have the Hylian shield and the master sword. Now, here we are, seven years in the future, as an adult, and we've got some stuff to do. Uh, a couple of chores, a couple of errands, if you will. Uh, one of which is on Lon, Lon Lon Ranch. Something really special waiting for us there. And then after that, we have to go to the graveyard in Kakarika Village. There's something special for us waiting there. Once we get those two items, uh, we can collect some heart pieces. Because as a kid, we planted those seeds back in part one or two of the series. And after planning the, maybe part three, but I bet you can, you can look it up. But uh, we, we spent a long time uh, planting seeds. Now that it's seven years in the future, those seeds have actually sprouted a plant. And these are kind of like magical moving leaves that act as transports and elevators, getting us to unreachable places, places that now have hidden heart pieces, which is very helpful. We can increase a heart. So... That being said, and without further ado, this is part seven, Ocarina of Time. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. All right, as you can see, we are now grown up Link. Got our master sword here. And what I mentioned before is there's the three spiritual stones, which allowed us to then go in here and, and grab the Master Sword. But we're actually heading out of the Temple of Time. And man, Ganondorf has given us such a lovely world of evil. What do you expect from the King of Evil? Check it out. There's this ominous fire ring around Death Mountain now. The world is much darker. And what was once a vivacious, full of life market for all the citizens of Hyrule. Oh, I, I, I think I swear I, I only do these things. Um, yeah, that's one of the undead, lovely creatures. Instead of going in here and getting all the rupees we want, now here in the future, we have this dude who will buy big pose off of us. What is a Poe? These are these ghosts that are hiding around Hyrule, and you can actually catch them using a Pona and your bow. <clears throat> but that'll be for another time. Hyrule Field, it's pretty much the same, however. It's got a few different things going on, but straight across the way, as we leave the castle grounds and the castle town, right across Hyrule, of course, hasn't moved, is Lon Lon Ranch. However, the question is, will we see that sweet little girl in here? The one that taught us that song? Or will we find something else? Let's see what the future holds. Oh. The doors are shut. There are some people in Kakariko Village spreading rumors 
that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf. Well, we know something already, right? This guy loves Ganondorf. That tells you all you need to know. Plus, I mean, they couldn't make him more like a sinister villain, could it? I mean, look at that guy. The great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Do you want to hear how to ride? Not really. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so here's the trick. We have only one minute, but the trick is to play the song that we learned long ago, which is the Pona song. Up, left, right, up, left, right. Here we go. Now, Epona, like us, like Link, has also grown up. But, Epona still, there she is, recognizes her song. This allows us to make sure we have her. Now the carrots, they're kind of, they're like your, um, not good job. I need a better running start for that. The carrots are, uh, of course, your stamina. So here's the gist. You can run around all you want, do a couple jumps, but the time is limited. I'm gonna come Z Dark target him and talk to him. When you want to dismount, press stop and press A. Hey, young man. Do you know, I felt like I've seen you somewhere before. If you use Z, all right, he's telling me how to do it. And, uh, I'm gonna tell him I'm done. <clears throat> However, we're gonna talk to him again. Course we're gonna call Epona again. Here, girl. There she is. Riding the N64. Whoops. Riding this version of Epona. Wow. Uh, the controls and the, how well it ha uh, she handles. You know, from stamina to, you know, steering, if you will. Um, night and day from, say, Tears of the Kingdom. Even Breath of the Wild. Like, right now, I am not getting the kind of response I want out of her. She's she's turning strangely and kind of jagged. I'm not sure if it's my controller or not. Alright, so now he wants to make a wager and see if we can race. Definite benefit to winning this race. The trick is to kind of stick close to the corners and never use all of your carrots. Once you do, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. <coughs> I made pretty good time that time, even though I messed up at the beginning. Shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Sounds good to me. Alright, come on, Epona, handle for me. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we won. What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? 
How did you tame that wild horse? Right under my nose! I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on a race and lost. Shoot! Ha ha ha. As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Oh, evil people. When will you ever learn? You'll never win. All right, so we have Epona. He's locked the ranch. What do we do now? We could never jump that fence. That would be ridiculous, right? Hello. That's right. We got a Pona. And all is right in the world. <clears throat> oh, it's a good day. I just saw Poe, by the way. They're hanging out in Hyrule Field. They're in a particular. They're in certain places. Uh, there's one almost near every you know side entrance out of the field. Uh, for instance, we just saw one uh, headed to uh, Gerudo Valley. There's one over near the entrance to uh, the forest. Um, so anyway. Check out the speed in which we're just cruising through Hyrule Field now. The game is much more pleasurable as an adult with a Pona. Given that you don't have the monotony of having to speed walk your way across the kingdom. Okay, here we go. Now, a Pona is not allowed to go up into the village. However,. All right, what does Navi want? Here we go. Listen. Should we believe what Sheik said about going to... Yes, I'm headed there. Thank you. Always with the, the late news and ideas. Here we are, back at Kakariga Village. We've been here a few times in the earlier installments of this. At the back of the village, from the entrance to the right is the entrance to the graveyard. There's the well. This will play a pop prominent part later. <clears throat> Another kind of side quest mini dungeon awaits us at the bottom of that well. But right back here. Let's see if I did plant that plant, that seed. If so, we're going to get another piece of heart right now. Oh, excellent. I didn't plant that one. Oh, okay. This gravestone, however, next to where I should have planted that seed, has a little secret. Below it is a hole. And, oh, who's this? Hey, 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 young man. Are you a fast on your feet? I may not look like it. But I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow if you dare. Alright, so this is a timed race. If you kind of hug these corners, you will not hit the fire that often, if at all. Um, he's a little bit tricky, though. Yeah, good job. He's a little bit tricky in the way he... Oh, my goodness. I always have to speak real fast about this, don't I? Alright, here we go. Alright, now we're, now we're catching up. If you don't time it right, he'll close certain doors and uh, the timer will run out, obviously, it's a timer. There are a couple of big rooms like this. I believe both of them you go to the right. Okay, that's three fireheads. Good job. And make that four. There was a run button like in the modern Zelda games. I also sort of missed the jump button as well. Oh, come on. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, you gotta be. Talk to me. 
You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. All right, good. I, I, all right, here we go. I did get the hook shot. I did beat the race. The hook shot is a spring-loaded chain that'll pull you to any spot where the where the hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I sure hope it'll help you. I live here now. <laughs> Lovely place. Uh, I'll come again sometime. I'll give you something cool, which is true. Uh, there's another race. I want to say it's for a piece of heart. Here we go. This hook shot. It's critical for us to get into the forest temple. Yes. This in its abilities replaces uh, the boomerang. It's actually better than the boomerang because it can pull you to that location instead of just retrieving things from a distant location. Um, both of them will do that, but the hookshot is very sweet. Later in the game, we get an improved version of the hookshot. Alright, so let's check this out. This is the way out, but the door is shut. The way is shut. Like in Lord of the Rings. So, what, what Navi? Okay. Uh, the way to get this, though, is to play the Song of Time. Write it down, write it down. The symbol, you'll see it <clears throat> throughout the game, uh, whether it be on a wall or a brick. Oh yeah, here we are. <clears throat> Here's another way to get it. So let's grab our hook shot. There it is. And what I was saying before, Deku stick, slingshot, boomerang, all of them grayed out because those are weapons from our youth. We did, however, retain the Deku nut and bombs, and of course, Ocarina. So, that's how things have majorly changed. Also, we do not have access to the beans. Those are something that you can only plant as a youth and then retrieve the, and then use the full-size plants as an adult. So, back to the hook shot. I'm trying to remember where I normally put it. Yeah, I think here. You know, when you play this game, you get used to the order of things, right? Just so that way they act out of memory. There's a couple ways to get this. The, the, what I just did doesn't work. First way is uh, manage your way under one of the, and missed. The other way, it is possible to grab the heart. done this before. It's acting like there's an invisible wall there. That's fun. Oh, that's fun. I've done this before and I've taken several tries at it. It's just more nerve-wracking because you guys are with me. I want to do it perfectly the first time. I mean, who, who doesn't think that way? It is acting like it's an invisible wall. Oh, 
Okay. Another time. Oh, you know what, though? I think we can go learn the Song of Storms. That's at least something we can accomplish in this room. Because I clearly am not hitting the mark at the moment. My goodness. Wait, you've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of this time. Seven years ago? Back then a mean kid came here and played a strange song and it messed up this windmill. I love that, by the way. He is referencing something that happened to him already in the past, but we have not done it yet. Okay, so the continuity of time. However, in our timeline, our personal time stream, we have not done that yet, but to him it's already happened. Love that. That is really cool. That's some, that's some sweet time travel stuff. All right, here we go. Oops. <laughs> Man, I'm knocking it out of the park tonight. Here we go. Now, the, the Song of Storms is useful in the event that he just referenced. Okay, something we will do. It's something that's happened to him already. However, it is also useful... There are hidden holes all over the kingdom. A lot of times a bomb or the mega hammer will open them. However, there are some, like the one in front of the Goron City, uh, that will open up with the Song of Storms. Meaning when you make it rain, it opens up the hole. So, you know, it's a, it's a song that we use a few times. And it says you've learned the Song of Storms. Alright, thanks strange dude. Right, yeah, check out the windmill now. That's what the song does to the windmill. So if we look at our subscreens, you can see that now we have all six of the top row. Okay? The six down here correspond to uh, dungeons that we will go to uh, and learn uh, specific songs and stuff. However, Yes, that is the Song of Storms, Time, Sun Song, Sarah Song, Epona, and finally Zelda's, Zella, yeah, uh, Zelda's Lullaby. Excellent. If you recall, it's either in part three or four of the series. I got, as a bonus, right here, the Stone of Agony. Well, my that, by the way, is called a controller pack. And in the old, here we go. In the old uh, Nintendo 64, it actually plugged in right here. And it was shaped like that, this kind of big thing. It had two, uh, two AAA batteries in it. Uh, it was a rumble pack, okay? And uh, that rumble pack plugged into the controller. So anyway, that's why it still looks like that on the screen. However, this is my modern wireless switch controller. And they've kind of just done it off here. There's probably electronics and stuff in here. But also for the weight of the controller, it works really well. So anyway, just for those of you who didn't know. So yeah, the Stone of Agony, though, rumbles when a secret is nearby. Which just happened to me. So walking right here, my controller is rumbling. So guess what? Let's take out a bomb. And it opens up a secret hole. Actually, down here, well, I still have... Alright, looks like we've already been down here. And those of you who have seen the early installments are going, yeah, we've been down there. Yeah, I believe it's like a red, it's either a 20 piece or a 100 piece rupee down there in that chest. That's why I was kind of second guessing getting it now. All right, if you recall, last time in part six, we acquired a total of 30 gold skotalas. And because of that, there is a new freed person back here. 
The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. Nice. Okay. I was just mentioning this. We our wallet was almost full at 185, and we you know, we have 185 right now. Uh, bottom left of your screen. However, now we have 500. So this is called the Giant's Wallet. So now we you know we can go and get that 100 piece rupee, and that would bring us to 285. So uh, instead of just maxing out at 200, so that was worth it to be able to carry more carry more rupees. Okay, we are heading out. Epona is waiting for us. We are going to head towards the Lost Woods. When we make our way through there, we will come upon our next dungeon, which is the Forest Temple. See how much more quickly we get across the field this way. Fantastic having a Pona. And there we go. The entrance that we know so well from our youth. Because we grew up here. And this is where you gotta stop. Sorry, girl. If I were playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, I'd give her some apples. But sorry. I, you'll just have to wait for me there, girl. Alright. By the way, you can actually look. Uh, this is a, a place that you can go when you use when you go through the uh, Lost Woods. And look what's waiting for us. It's now a field of monsters. It's not quite the uh, childhood paradise in which we grew up. Now. Oh, great. I need some hearts. Okay, I didn't even plant one here. I thought I planted one here. All right, up above that, when there's a plant there, is a bunch of rupees. Greens, blues, red. But I won't be getting those right now. I uh, I thought we did all that in our the one in which we went all over the place and collected stuff, and but it's possible I. Uh, you know, I was concentrating on getting through temples and dungeons that I didn't quite get that done. It's not the end of the world, though. Time travel exists, and we can use it. And man, I need some hearts, because this is really annoying. This guy, we're going to use him later to do a big multi-part quest. You know what? I'm just going to let him kill me. Go, go ahead. I, I'd rather take death over that sound. Luckily, we have one fairy, and we'll try to get another one. Do not hit me again. You already got me with that dart. Thank you. Wow, I really neglected my planting of things, because that plant isn't there either. I'm really proud of myself right now. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I cannot believe it. All right. I said to make our way. By the way, yeah, this, if you head straight right here, goes over to Goron City. This right here will take us to Zora's River. And there's that guy that blocked us from the Deku Tree before. Yeah, he's still around. And he's promised Sarah that he wouldn't let anyone by. Alright, so, oh, do I have to play the song here? Yeah, I do. Alright. Alright. Me and my exceptional memory. Alright, I need this song right here. Down left, down right left. Okay. It's literally the song that you hear playing in the forest at the same time. That melody. Sarah plays that song all the time. Do you do you know Sarah? By the way, I, I used to call her Saria. 
but I can't stand saying that. It sounds weird. And actually, I have a cousin named Sarah, so I'm going to call her Sarah. Believe me, leave me a comment if you're bothered by it. I don't really care. Uh, so I'm going to call her Sarah. All right? And you kind of, the I is silent to me. All right, that song. Sarah taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. That was easy. Uh, when I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Oh, yeah. Love a bigot. All right, here we go. I'm trying to memorize it. No, I... I knew that was wrong. Okay. They don't call it the Lost Woods for nothing. All right, here we go. It's right. Left. Right. Left. I believe it's straight. And then left. Yep. Now, one way goes... There's something about hanging out with you guys. I make all the mistakes I don't normally make. It, you know, Murphy's Law, right? You know, right when the, the pressure's on. Uh, count on just messing up continually. Oh boy, okay. And let's see, we don't straight. Well, we know it's not straight. We're headed left. Booyah. And I believe it's right will take us... No. All right. See, it, it goes to black just like the other one. Okay. Oh! Stone of Agony's going off. What do we do? It's either this or Song of Storms. Let's find out. Yep, that was the bomb. Secret hole. Oh, yeah, this room. Zelda Edition Pro Controller. Virtually silent. This one's very loud. Here we go. What do we got? I can't remember. I actually can't remember. Nice! Alright, that's 50 rupees. It's better than 10 or 20. So like I said, had we not gotten the Giant's Wallet, we would have been maxed out at 200. But now that we have it, we, we're up to 235. From here on, we'll be, Oh, yeah. These guys are fun. Okay? There used to be the little Deku plants here that shoot the seeds at you. No longer. There's some really menacing creeps waiting around the corners to, in the maze now. From here on, we'll be going through some narrow passages. Take it slow, sneak up, yada yada. Okay, yes, we're Z targeting. Thank you. So what, what, not, what Navi was telling us is this. When you stand against the wall, right here at the corner, and presses, you know, kind of use your Z to focus your, you can actually see down the corridor. All right, again, from behind is the way. If they see you, they will charge you with their spears, and there's no evading it. They take you out. Going in these alcoves because they hide, ru hide rupees in the grass. So again, facing the wall, facing the wall. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we do not want to go down there right now. He will. 
use his spear and charge us right into this wall right here. Opposite him. However... Oh, you turning around? Take it nice and slow. Get within hook shot range. Not too difficult. Thank you, sir. Let me look at the map here. Oh, it's back this way. I'm glad there wasn't one there. He would have gotten cold right there. Alright, there he is. Now let's get him right before he turns around. Oh, crap! And what? And my friends, that is what happens to you. Luckily, they have really short term memory, these NPCs. Amazing. Alright. Another one down. And this is almost the end right here. However, it is brutal stuff getting... That guy will eat you right into the water. And it's, it's really humiliating. I do not want that to happen, so... I'm gonna wait. Plus, I don't want to lose another half a heart. Wait, it is. My goodness. This is reminiscent of the Castle Guards when we're a kid and we're trying to get to Princess Zelda. Very similar kind of situation. And booyah, he's gone. Now, here's what's great. Don't head up the ramp yet. Go here. Why? We need to stock up on fairies. Now there's enough to go around, they'll heal you, and we have three bottles to replenish. So, put them on your... Like that. That's one. Two. I'm pressing my yellow button to the section here. And... Oh, don't make me... Okay. I've never seen that happen. I've never run out of fairies there, but maybe it's just because I, I took too long because I was talking. Let's see. Yeah, they're back. Okay. First time for everything. Not taking any chances this time. And my friends, that's three. So check it out. We are now... Since we have four, three bottles right now, they're all full of fairies. Nice. They'll save our hides. Literally. Okay. But meanwhile, what do we want to do? We want our weapons and items back here. So, putting the hookshot here, bombs here, and ocarina here. Here we go. Yeah, after you collect your fairies in your bottles, take them off your buttons. Uh, as you saw last time in part six, I accidentally pressed it. And, and uh, you know, used a fairy when I didn't really want to. So let's jump off this. And, oh, go get up! Like I said, jump off this. There we go. That'll get you right by that guy. That guy, by the way, regenerates. Oh, this guy is fun. You thought those guys were kind of menacing. This guy is a mega turd. All right, watch this. It's basically right, left, right, left until you can get close enough. Give him a few, few good wax. And don't do that. Okay. He will send you sailing. He's doing his middle strike. Middle strike. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Center. And. And I got three hits. He's done. Bye bye. I think we get a red rupee for it. Thank you. We are so close now. We are approaching our first of six major temples. 
Remember, our friend Sarah used to sit on that, playing her instrument. She's not there anymore. But, the, you know, the princess told us, oh, here's our new friend. Here's Sheik. There's something really cute about Sheik. I don't know what it is. I've seen those eyes before. The flow of time is always cruel. It speeds, it speeds seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. All right, so we are learning the first song of the first of six temples. And the songs, most of them now have six notes, too. Well, I guess, never mind. I guess they did before. There is a song with seven, though. You know, I don't think it's said enough that the importance of music in the Zelda games is undeniable, and I love that. Music actually plays an integral role in your journey, in your adventure, in unlocking things and earning things and, and defeating things and gaining things, and meaning it's, it's, it's actually an integral part of your story and gameplay, and not just there as background music. Um, I just, I love that so much. And so this is just another example. A new, we've learned a new melody, the Minuet of Forest. The Zelda games also have some of the most beautiful music I've ever heard. I mean, I say that with a big, big asterisk, but um, still, really beautiful music. Link, I'll see you again. I mean, that sweeping music of the title screen and when you go across across um, Hyrule Field is just undeniable. All right, we've been to this place before as a child. This is where we met Sarah. However, this is one place we, I mean, there's no way to climb this again. This isn't Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom or even, you know, running up walls and crates in Skyward Sword. So, however, we have a new tool, don't we? The red dot means you're actually connecting with it. Okay, it's your targeting system for the hookshot. Look at that. We just pulled ourselves up here. We've now accessed an area we could not access before. And this brings us to the Forest Temple. This is where we're going to leave it today. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, I just pulled out a bomb. Okay, I bumped my controller. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, part seven. This is part seven, and it's been a blast uh, getting the hook shot. And uh, before that, we got a Pona. It's two major parts of our story, which brings us to the first of the six major temples awaiting us in our adventure it's gonna be a long journey it's gonna be a lot of fun i've had a lot of fun so far and we're, we're already in part seven you know part eight we're gonna do the forest temple you know like lord jabba jabba's valley i tend to get it turned around with the forest temple understandably so uh those courtyards can be a, a real pain in the butt sometimes and then there's long corridors and then you have to twist and untwist them you'll see check out part eight but for now, guys, thank you so much. It's been a blast. Thank you for joining me. I'm Loud Boy. Please like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill. And uh, guys, you have a blessed day. Remember, God loves you, and Jesus died for you. Uh, say your prayers, and uh, be kind to one another. Be strong. All right? You're chosen to live in this time, created for this moment. Do something with it. Something to make the world better, to help your neighbor to love one another. Just try. So anyway, it's been a blast. I thank you guys. And I hope you have a really good day. Thank you so much.